Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. In July this year, TV3 Mission broadcast a news item on talented Jonah Alumvala, who was in dire need of support to undergo medical care. Well, four months after this report, aid has come to Jonah, the Focus Orthopedic Hospital in Pantan, with support of some philanthropists, have supported Jonah to undergo his first medical surgery. Today, mission is at Suswaho RC Primary and Kindergarten School of the Ahafo region. We're here to meet a special boy who, despite his disability, has braved the odds to join his colleagues in class. Well, he needs a little support to become someone in future. Yes, I was born like this. Before uh, I was sent to school, people, everybody who will see me just look at me. That time, uh, I won't come out to go with them or play with children, so just like that. So I was at home every time doing artwork and modeling and money chains. When TV3 Mission first met Jonah, he was writing his end of term examinations at the Suswaho RC Basic School at Diaya Unkwanta in the Ahafu region. Despite his disability, which prevented him from using his hands effectively, he topped his class and drew perfectly. Four months after the reportage, the Focus Orthopedic Hospital at Pantan, together with some philanthropists, came to the aid of Jonah. Professor Ohineba Bwacheje is the president and founder of the Foundation of Orthopedics and Complex Spine, Focus. Our mission basically is to help people regain their ability to function. Uh, so as a non-profit organization, we depend heavily on philanthropic support donors from Ghana and from the uh, outside the country and uh, Jonah basically is one of those patients who is on it's not going to be able to afford the multiple surgeries that is required to improve his condition so he falls uh, basically under our mission of compassion if we say we're doing the surgery for free it that basically means that somebody is helping us provide him free care he gets it for free but someone is helping it's Thursday, October 31, and Jonah is about to undergo surgery. Good morning, and how are you feeling? Good. What's your expectation today? To have a surgery. They said that he will do the uh, new first after surgery. We, I will always come to the fish to train me so that I will be well early to go and do anything good. The doctors said they will first work on his legs. After three months, they will work on his hands. A few months ago, TV3 Mission brought to you a news item on Jonah. Well, today he's undergoing surgery at the Focus Orthopedic Hospital and he's hopeful that his quality of life will improve after the surgery. After hours, the surgery is over and Jonah will now have to wait to recover and undergo further surgeries. His condition is a uh, very rare disorder. We're not going to make him perfect, and it's going to take about 18 months to two years to be able to get him to get all the surgeries done. So the first plan is to uh, do corrective osteotomy, which is cutting the bone 
a section of it to realign the bone so that the knee can be straighter. And then also do an arthrodesis, fuse the, break some of the bones in his ankle and foot and reset it so that it could be put flat on the ground. After three months, we'll come back and then uh, we'll work on the upper extremity on the same side to get the, uh, the elbow a little bit bent and also to realign the wrist in terms of the position that, that it is in. Right now, his wrist is in this position. The goal is to bring it up a little bit more like this and then also to bend the elbow so at least he can get his hand to the mouth. Uh, if we can if we can achieve that, that would be a huge improvement in terms of his function and ability to even feed himself. Jonah and his father were grateful. I would thank the man who is um, supporting this and the TV3 to, for having time for me every time and also the doctors too. In Focus Orthopedic Hospital. I will thank them too for anything they are doing for me. My teachers, especially the headmaster and the others. TV3 is number one. Pa, but the woman says, we are singing in the TV3 and my papa woman. First, thanks goes to TV3, the teachers, as well as doctors and staff of full course. TV3 mission will certainly follow up on Jonah's progress until his final surgery. Porsche Gabo, TV3 News, Accra.